Oh. <laughs> okay, I guess we just lose. Uh, that's really deep in the map. Do we just leave dead? Howdy guys, I'm FL08, your favorite Wolf World enthusiast. Back today with another episode of Fire Emblem The Lonely Mirror. This is an FG8 hack made by Caladrius, and today it is time for Chapter 8, Shrine of Vedi. Uh, it's been a little while since I've recorded last. I haven't been feeling super well, and in truth, I'm still not feeling super well, but I need to get back into it. I've been wanting to play this game so badly, and I know that you guys have been waiting for the next episode. My hope is to get a few episodes recorded today so that you, can, you guys can have um, a couple days worth of episodes to like make up for the, uh, the wait and stuff. But I guess we'll see how that goes. The White Lions are heading out again. How are you feeling from the last battle? Uh, my muscles are a bit sore, but I am ready to go. That is, if you'll have me. I was going to suggest that you come on this mission. Oh yeah? What's the mission? Prince Joseph believes Celeste's sacred treasure may have something to do with the strange happenings. Maybe even those monsters. I got to say that I am pretty curious about the whole thing. Sounds good. Joseph is my friend from earlier, right? Yes, and he's leading us to a shrine near the castle. Lael, are you coming too? Uh, you are coming too, right? Of course she'll join. Miles. Lead the way, Boone. I won't let you down. Good, we're leaving at once. Very nice. Small little shrine out in the middle of the uh, the snowy winter winter wonderland. This is the place. Forgive me, but there is nothing here. Oh yeah, we get all, all of our units together for this map. I am pretty excited for that. Uh, were you expecting some elaborate signpost? No, I guess not. The shrine is hidden underground. Follow me. Oh yes, and we use the assets from the ruins of uh, sacred stones. I really love it. They don't. They the hacks don't use these enough, in my opinion. This place sure is beautiful. It is. I can tell uh, it is well taken care of too. That's a sharp eye you got there. There are actually many monks that have looked after this shrine for many generations now. And where are they now? Are you usually greeted? Yes, that's the part that worries me. Keep your hands close to your weapons, everyone. Betty's harp is located further in. Follow closely and watch out for traps. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. It would have to be um, pretty well protected. Well, this is the place where Betty's harp rests. Are you absolutely certain this is right? There is nothing here. Well, it looks like my suspicions are confirmed. Betty's harp is gone. And Devante probably intends to use you to obtain Lita's flute. That wouldn't do him any good because I've never seen it. If you're certain that this is that this Devante person is after the world's sacred instruments, how do we stop him? Hmm. Devante must be keeping Vetti's, uh, Vetti's harp close to him if we assume he has used it on my father. Though I do not know the harp's capabilities. Still, we should go to the castle and take the harp back by force. Oof. I don't know about that. That is uh, currently the biggest army in the land. <laughs> that we know of, anyway. Okay, I am choosing to trust you. But do I really have a choice? You always have a choice. <laughs> I suppose. Bad news, everyone. The enemy has appeared from the shadows. Were they just waiting around to ambush us? Well, they're either really smart or have nothing else better to do. <laughs> what a pain. And just when we were piecing everything together. Oh, and also the monsters are back again. Oh, I'm excited. Like the ones you were telling me about? I'm afraid so. Things are piecing together now. We must make it out of here. Indeed. Some monsters. More demons? This is getting out of hand. Lael, stay where I can see you. I promise that I'll protect you. I know you will. Hey, Lael, you know something about these monsters, don't you? How did you? I can tell. <laughs> yeah, everybody in the world can tell. <laughs> Miles. Okay, it is time for our preparations. What kind of units are we going to be bringing this time? Uh, oh, actually, let's see here. I Oh, yeah, that's right. I played this map. Um, not I didn't play the map, but I, I played up to my preparations uh, and a little bit into the map um, last time. So my preparations are actually good to go, I think. Yeah, um, unfortunately, I think that I am having having to leave behind Miles and Roxy for uh, until I have a little bit more deployment. Because um, I can't leave behind Grant, of course. Grant is my wall, my knight in shining armor. Um, but unfortunately, I think these guys are going to be pretty permanently benched. Uh, but that does play into the question of the day. Who do you want to see used in this playthrough? I, uh, I don't really have a strong preference, really. Like, there are some of these units. Honestly, Travis here. I've warmed up to him a little bit after uh, the unfortunate circumstances surrounding his... Um, I suppose, existence. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm not exactly opposed to dropping some of these guys. Uh, Atticus will be replaced as soon as there aren't treasure chests, I would say. Uh, but there are a few on this map. And also, there is a fun little gimmick in this map, one that I am uh, going to have to prepare a little bit for. Um, I think I'm going to place... Let's see, who do I want? 
Um, hmm. That's actually a difficult decision. Hmm, it might have to be Joseph. But Lael would also be fantastic if I had the deployment spots for her. Oh gosh, but I, I've decided to use Catherine as my primary healer. Until we get another one, um, Catherine is just superior in my opinion. Lael, of course, as I, as I touched on in a previous episode, she gets weighed down heavily by the Shine Tome. And uh, that makes her speed basically non-existent, so she can't tank hits in any way like uh, Catherine would be able to. Uh, additionally, I did go ahead and use my Seraph Robe, I believe, on Faith. I believe that she is probably my most formidable unit right now, so having the extra bulk does not hurt. In fact, it helps quite significantly. 20 minutes later. Please, please just... It's a, it's a coin flip, but please... Okay, okay, we're living. Oh gosh, and if Boone survives... Uh, one more, then theoretically, it's okay. But I mean, this really hinges on there being no reinforcement monsters for the next turn. If there are, then it's... Oh, he could he could die to poison. I didn't even consider it. He's probably going to die to poison. Oh, jeez. That's rough. Oh, jeez. Okay, it's fine, though. It's fine. Come on, Virgil. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. It'll be okay. Come on, you got this, buddy. Virgil, Virgil, come on. Well, you just got to survive. Live the poison. Be the champ that we need you to be. It's a one in three chance that he'll roll a one damage on the poison. Oh, please, 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 please. Oh my gosh. No, that's it. Oh, uh, tech skip there. Virgil, please, you must treat this wound. No, not yet. Virgil, I ordered you to fall, fall back. I don't know, he's kind of stuck there, isn't he? Ready to go now. Um, I've actually decided that I'm just going to play the map from the beginning in and uh, not cut out the thing, the, the, the getting back to the other part thing, because I have... Um, significantly revamped my strategy for this map as I have taken a bigger glance at the map and um, you know tried to figure out a better way of going about it and I think I figured out something quite magnificent um, you might notice that my deployments are a little bit different or specifically I don't have Atticus and I have Travis instead the return of the king so to speak um, here he is and he can use the Wodal which was kind of weird to me um, since I'm used to that mer being Myrmidon only but that's besides the point we don't exactly need the, the Wodal right now what we need is um, to make Grant relevant. So what we're going to do is make Grant relevant. <laughs> so um, the way we're going to do that is we're going to break down this wall. And, well, we're going to do what our, our mounted units do best and rescue him up. And then we're going to place Faith like this and give her the Slim Lance and trade to make sure Grant has that. And we're going to just place him here. And then we'll fly up here. Um, she has the avoid that she can basically dodge everything here without much fail. Um, if she gets hit, it's no big deal because she has the additional boost from the Seraph Robe. And she can basically just make do. Um, of course it would be nice if she didn't get hit, but if she does, I, have, I still have that Vulnerary on her. So she can um, basically just stand here on this tile next turn and hopefully open up all of this. Um, now on the subject of that... I have given Grant, or Virgil rather, oh actually he can't double this guy, uh, I think he was able to do that last time, but I can't remember, maybe not, um, either way it doesn't really matter that much, Parvati can and that's that's perfectly good, um, but she's going to get her monster destroyer rune thingy this, this turn, so yeah let's go for it, fire rune, probably could have used a wind rune instead, but I decided to go with the fire rune, just for the simplicity of it. Um, does a little bit more damage, I guess. That's good. And then she'll get her Bright Rune, and we can send back one of those extra vulnerabilities to the convoy. I wasn't sure if I was going to need it, and it turns out that I didn't, so we can just get on with our life like this. Uh, I did leave behind, uh, most unfortunately, the um, uh, Hand Axe, because I figured the, the Hatchet would be better. But in this instance, it doesn't really matter that much. Uh, we're going to have help down here pretty quickly, pretty early on. So I think we'll survive. <laughs> which is uh, important. Ooh, um, hmm. I'll leave the Steel Axe behind. We're not going to need it. And in the meantime, I'll just let Boone stand here. Slam Lance it up. Yeah, that feels good. We got Grant. We ke we're keeping him relevant. Um, Travis might fall under attack, but it doesn't really matter. Whoever falls under attack is uh, really none of my concern because neither one of them will die to strictly that guy. And then, uh, of course... I think most of these guys are going to go for Faith, but if, if they don't, then that's that's perfect, because, you know, Grant will damage them pretty well. 
It's like basically nothing on the uh, the back end of it. The worst I could really hope for is uh, Toxin Lance to hit or something, but even so, should be fine. Uh, we're going to mainly stay down in this region, and I'll just let Winifred shoot through the wall and have some fun. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll let her wait. Let's see how this goes. I'm really excited because uh, I, I had the big brain moment, and the big brain moment might work, and the big brain moment might fail, and we'll, we'll find out very quickly. Um, yeah, that's what I expected. Um, so you might be wondering how I'm going to get the treasure chest now that Atticus is not here. Ooh, that's a good crit. That opens things up a little bit more for us. Um, but the way that's going to work is that I have a chest key. I didn't realize I had a chest key, but I do have one, so I'm perfectly fine. Very good. It always kind of scares me when those monsters attack my Pegasus Knights because the, uh, the animation makes me feel like I'm going to get hit, hit no matter what. Um... But yeah, I have a chest key, so I can just grab those two. It's a three-use one out of uh, five uses. Okay, good. Faith is safe. Uh, I don't know who's going to be attacked by the uh, the Mogoth, but it's no big deal, whoever does. Uh, Grant is going to be relevant. Our units are going to be good. And that's what's that's what's fun. Very good dodge. Very important dodge, too. That uh, saves me a turn of healing and allows me to attack him. Okay, let's let's get it. Okay, he actually falls under under attack, which means that Grant is probably going to be attacked by the Mogul. I should have uh, maybe not destroyed the the um, javelin right away, but I did <laughs> because I don't have another one, and a one use one kind of just gets on my nerves being there. Um, but it would have been nice in this instance, so I guess there's that. Okay, he takes eleven damage, which means he can survive that for one more turn. Uh, the rest of the guys, the uh, the physical enemies are not going to do enough to chip him that far down. Alrighty, Winifred. There we go. She's uh, cu currently the uh, quote-unquote least useful here, just because, um, you know, issues with being, you know, everybody's over this way and stuff. Okay, now it is time to free our units. Please let this work. Yes. I never want to go through that again. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Boone. We really put you through the ringer, didn't we? <sighs> but now there's so much more freedom in this map. So what we're going to do, he'll do three damage, which is a little bit oof, but it should be okay. Um, we can use Winifred to kill one of those, I believe, with a longbow. Not quite, but that's, that's okay. Uh, maybe we can use Travis. Travis can be good. Uh, can he be good? That's the question. The eternal question. Hmm. Yeah, now now that I've used him for his one purpose, it's going to be difficult, but maybe he'll do a thing. I hope. I think. Maybe. I, I guess we'll find out very quickly. Um, so if I can move Winifred here, I believe that she can kill with the long... Oh, the longbow is actually stronger in this game. Um, interesting. The longbow is ordinarily one point weaker than the, the iron bow. However, the shining bow could probably make do. Uh, what's your defense? Yeah, the shining bow can kill that guy. Um... Hmm. In that case, I will probably just kill this guy if I can. And if I can't, then he'll die on the next turn or something. Uh, Grant is basically stuck here, but it should be okay. I can just use the Steel Lance and Vulnerary up, and then he's fine. He's fine. He'll be okay. Um, Travis, though, on the other hand, he's not okay. <laughs> he'll be fine, I think. I hope. Perhaps. Maybe. Uh, I'm going to kill this spider with the Bright Rune, I think, because the spider scares me. He scares me a lot. The Bright Rune is going to be good in this map because of so because of all the spiders. Um, he can kill with a hatchet. He cannot kill with a hatchet. Apparently, he's not fast enough. Oh, wow, that guy's actually kind of fast compared to usual. Um, but maybe Boone? No. No, not really. It's fine. We can have that, and then do this, uh, and then he can he can work on that over time. Not in a huge rush anymore. Uh, we can javelin this guy and uh, stand in range of that one, which is nice. Um, he's not going to double with the javelin. Oh, he's not going to hit with the javelin either, by the look of it. But he's not going to double with the javelin anymore because he lost that point of speed. Um, but that should be okay because we have Joseph, or maybe not. It maybe it's not okay. Uh, that's okay-ish, maybe, question mark. Travis might be able to make work of, um, 
that guy, and then also kind of bait out the attack from the, um, the Mogul. Which could be nice, because it's preferable that Travis takes the damage and not Boone, I think. Yeah, let's go for that. Uh, Elwind, this guy. Actually, we could probably just regular Wind, and then if he can do 10 damage with, a, like, a Steel Sword or something. Yeah, he can do 12. Um, actually, he could just kill that guy straight up if I wanted. But I want to, um, avoid... Oh. Okay, I guess I'll have to kill that guy straight up because I, I misclicked. Uh, that's unfortunate, but it should be okay still. I think it'll be okay anyway. I hope so. If not, then that's not good. Um, 8 damage. Surely you don't take like 16 from this guy. He can't even do 16, so it's fine. Uh, but what do you do? Yeah, so we'll, we'll just do it from here. Um, that'll let, that'll let the, the Mogul have attack range from behind the wall, but that's okay. Um, but you do need to hit both of these, because if you miss one, you die. Oh. Travis. Oh. Oh, okay. Travis. I... I... Okay, Travis. Okay. Okay, we can play. We can play this way. It's your game. <laughs> Have it your way, buddy. <laughs> oh, boy. Good old Travis. Honestly, are we gonna have to use Travis this run? He's... He's growing on me, but kind of in the same way that, like, I don't know, something that you don't want to grow grows on you. I, I don't know, Travis. <laughs> uh, he's Travis. We can't. Just let me know in the comments if you want to see Travis use this run. <laughs> I think he has potential. This map displayed that he has potential. Ooh, nice crit. That's the uh, second one she's gotten, so we're saving use of the Magistra by playing smarter too. Oh boy, how I love this game. It's honestly been such a blast playing this game. I, I love all of the units. They're they're so much fun. Uh, the Shining Bow can kill this guy. Um, presumably the Shining Bow... I'm just... Oh, it's light magic. Okay, so it'll she'll take one less damage from this guy. Um, from his 11. So, five damage. Yeah, we're fine. Shining Bow, good. I hope we get um, another chance at a Shining Bow later on, too. Like, maybe in the in the stores or something. Oh gosh, 69. Just what Winifred w would want, as as we all know. Alright, good old Travis. You, uh... Hey, Travis. Travis, you really want your spot on the roster, don't you? Uh, maybe, there, maybe there's one for you after all. Especially if you get, like, strength on this level up or something. Ah, I was hopeful. Oh, that's not a bad level up, though. He got everything but strength, and I guess luck. Luck is going to be a little bit of an oof staff for him, or stat for him. Um, but it should be okay. I think that Travis will face issues with crit, but I guess we'll find out. Uh, luck does play into crit a little bit, I think. Um, but that's... That I don't know if that'll be relevant for a while because enemies are floating around five, uh, five luck right now. Okay, he's gonna get. Wow. Okay, I'm getting the good RNG this time. Grant is uh, not letting Travis compete with him. <laughs> he's like, nah. I'll I'll just dodge everything too. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, he could. Yeah, he could have died there from the one percent crit. That would have been the most unfortunate way to go. Perhaps the most unfortunate way I would have ever seen in Fire Emblem. After all of that. Oh actually goes for Winifred. Uh, why? I, I don't understand. You you just die by doing that when you could have attacked Grant and lived. Okay, I'm fine with it. You know what? I'll take it. You could have even attacked my healer and nothing would have changed for you. But you know what? We'll, we'll, we'll go with it. Um, we also have a monster... No, we don't. Um, I was going to say we have a monster standing on the stairway. Um, but we don't on any of them, actually. So, the reinfo oh, we do actually have... Wait, no reinforcements. Uh, okay, this map is going so much better than it did before. Uh, Travis can have another kill. But, okay. <laughs> okay, this is fun. This is nice. He does get hit, of course. He takes some, uh, some damage that does hurt. But, hey, he got speed last time. He's moving up in the world. Uh, what can Virgil do, though? That's the question, isn't it? Mm, if I hadn't sent back the, uh, the one, the, the thingy, then it would have been okay. Maybe we can just use Bright Rune on that guy. Get him out of the way. Please don't miss so that we don't waste a use, though. Perfect. 
Um, and then we can just, I don't know, we can just kill with Virgil and then run back around. We're, we're basically in the clear now. I am very, very proud of my boy, um, uh, Travis, for allowing me to basically just do this without being heavily punished. Oh, another 70% another dodge. What's up with it? I don't know, man. It's rough. Actually, it's the opposite of rough, like starkly in the opposite of rough. It's going fantastically. Um, and now we can just go around this way. Uh, we'll have to come back to sweep up this chest later on. Um, or we could just kill all of those monsters with, like, Faith or somebody. Huh, I wonder. Or we could just do this and rescue her across and then take drop. Uh, we will trade away the Magistra, though. No, no need to use it right now. Iron Lands, take drop, and then kill this guy with Grants. Ah, oh, yes. Satisfaction in Fire Emblem by using your brain. I like this. I like this quite a lot. This is a fun map. Um, I'm going to stand on this stairway just to be on the safe side. And then we'll get Ga uh, Catherine around this way. Uh, we'll just do it like this so that she can actually, you know, heal this turn too. Cost us one point of movement in the long scheme of things, like, but it's it's fine. Now I do wonder what the uh, what the deal with the monsters is. I wonder if they stop spawning once you hit that switch. Maybe that's the thing. Maybe that's what they're tied to. Ooh, fetched claw. But you're you're gonna miss, right? Nope, you're not gonna miss. It's fine. We we got so much good luck. The bad luck was bound to happen eventually. Um, in fact, I believe that guy's in range for Grant to kill. Actually, he might not be. Faith is actually pretty uh, pretty bulky. Or not bulky, but like, strong. She's got the arms of a Grant. 12. Yeah, she's she's buff. So, uh, he's not quite managing. But that's fine. We can weaken up a little bit with uh, Joseph. We have a soldier that's like, really chasing us down. He's like, angry. He wants a piece of us. But uh, I think it's going to go quite poorly for him when uh, Virgil comes around the corner and bops him in the face with an axe. <laughs> Iron axe it up. Um, perfect. This is going so much better. It's, it's, this is, this is good. I like this. Of course our heal staff breaks, but that's fine. We have another one in the convoy, plus we have one more equipped, uh, even. Ooh, should I, should I just get that kill with Parvati? Uh, I think that benefits me more than, yeah. Uh, do we have the chest? No, the chest key is in the convoy still. Um, actually, I'm gonna give this kill to Boone. I think he needs the experience. Oh, apparently he doesn't want the experience, but he's gonna get it one way or another. 99. Yeah, he doesn't want the experience. He's like, please don't level me up like, again. I can't take it anymore. Um, I guess we'll just... Hmm. I guess we'll just javelin with Faith. Um, and then remain out of range of this guy. Vulnerary up, of course. And then Grant can have some more experience. He can probably go for those uh, revenants if they don't break down the wall first, which they very well might. Perhaps, probably even will. So I guess uh, Winifred could actually do some damage. She could kill that one and then, you know, work on it over time. Work on the other one, that is. Uh, maybe even Travis could get a kill up there. I guess we'll have to see. Um, but yeah, I think I'll just let Grant do this, and then both of those two will have a kill next turn. Oh, and I'll, I will go ahead and give Grant the, um, who do I want to go up there for the chest? Hmm. Because if it's Grant, we still have to go this way. I don't think Grant's going to be super good around this corner, so it should be okay for him to just get that. Um, the Light Mages are going to be spooky, though. They do some damage and have some crits. Hmm. wonder how that's going to go. That's, that's a problem for future FOL. Uh-huh. <laughs> It should be a fine problem, though. Nothing really problematic, so to speak. I should have left the Shining Bow equipped on her, but it's it's okay. Okay, please double. If you do, then you get the kill. Awesome. Um, I'm going to let Faith actually have the Archer kill just to be on the safe side. Actually, the Archer is more open than I expected. So, okay. I guess she can still have the Archer kill, but for a different reason than I expected. Perfecto. Faith is getting to the point where she's not leveling up super quickly, but she's also getting up there in the levels. Uh, that is one thing I have noticed, is that I don't know if the, the enemies scale um, in terms of level in a way that fits your unit's like experience growth, because I, as you can see, my, my stronger units are getting basically nothing. Um, by this point in the game, they should still be getting like 
10 ish. Wait, why didn't that guy move? He just wasn't having any of it, I guess. Uh, okay. I guess that's fine. If he doesn't want to move, then I can just kill him with Winifred for free. And that would be completely fine with me. Um, let's see. What's she going to get? Ooh, ooh, she's good. She's so good. Oh, yes. Pink haired archers. How I love them. What kind of affinity does she have, by the way? Dark? I'm totally okay with that. Hmm. I could put Virgil right there with the hand axe. Or a hatchet, rather. Oh, he actually doesn't double that guy. Interesting. Huh. I guess my Virgil's kind of slow, isn't he? I guess so. My uh, other one on maddening mode is a little bit faster, I believe. But this one is not. And that's all we can all we can do. Uh, we'll Elwin this guy and then get the kill with Boone. We really need Boone to get those level ups. If he doesn't get them, then uh, we'd be in it quite bad. Especially considering he's our lord. Alright, he's one of them anyway. Uh, can you... No, we'll just Iron Lance. And if you miss, then... Then you dumb. But he's not dumb. He's Boone. He's a Boone to our, um... Our, our army, I guess. Not with that level up, though. <laughs> It'll be fine. Oh, boy. I wish that Leah had another two range option than the Magistra. It hits res, so these guys don't care about it. Um... Hmm... Would they double him? They wouldn't with a hand act or with a hatchet equipped. Um. Hmm. I don't know about it, Chief. Anyway, I think Travis is gonna be the one that goes for the chest key. Uh, he has the. Uh, wait, where is it? Did I? Who has it? I know that somebody here. Okay. Yeah, my my healer is my thief, I guess. Uh, we'll heal. Good to get the heals whenever we can. No need to worry about wasting heal staff uses. We have plenty. But yeah, Travis is probably the least consequential to go that way. Uh, Parvati might actually be kind of good for over there. Although light magic is kind of spooky in this hack. Just because it's actually good. <laughs> it does decent damage. I guess it weighs this guy down a little bit. So we're, we're not super worried about it. But it's, it's, a, it's a threat. It's a constant. Something to keep track of at all times. Um, and she will be able to kill this guy over the course of the next... Especially with the dodge, she'll be able to kill this guy. Um, pretty easily. Ooh, the mages, they do be moving. Ooh, don't crit me. That's That would be scary. Yeah, I guess, I guess the luck has to come back and bite me at some point. Okay, you moving. So theoretically, Joseph has weapon triangle advantage against them, but I don't think it's going to be doing much. Uh, they're not doing anything to him, though. So, maybe that's something. Hmm. Catherine has some res, so I guess we could do something like that. Elwin, ooh, nice crit. That is pretty helpful, actually. Not, not necessary. What I was going to do is have uh, Joseph attack and then move Virgil down uh, in order to... You know, basically just kill that guy and then stand in range of this guy and that guy. But that makes my life just a little bit easier, so I'm fine with it. Um, as such, I think that Virgil can just stay there, right? What's Travis doing on the res? He's not exactly a res tanky, as it were. Um, we'll work on getting Winifred back around. I think that Winifred actually, if I give her the pure water that I have, maybe she's my best candidate for taking all of these guys on. Hmm. I don't think that's a bad idea, actually. She has decent res as it is already. Yeah, why don't we do that? That sounds fun. Um, we will have to work around, like, work around how we're gonna do that exactly. Um, if she ends up, like, attacking from here, or especially, like, if that guy decides to move around, then that's even better. But, like, we'll assume if she attacks from here, then I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, then take drop. And then next turn, she can do that stuff, which is pretty cool. In the meantime, Virgil can weaken him up some. Uh, we'll just stand here like this. What kind of crit rate are we working with? Hmm, too much for my liking. How about you? Okay, we'll just stand here with, like, Iron Sword or Slim Sword equipped for the dodge. Hmm, yeah, and then Travis can go around this way. 
Actually, we're going to wait one more turn with Travis so that we can take and drop. Actually, I think Grant should be able to do that just fine. So Travis can go around and get that Restore Staff, and then we'll see what's down here later on. Uh, let's see. This episode is getting to be a little bit long, though, um, by the look of my recording. wonder how I'm going to cut that down. I guess we'll find out. I probably won't uh, like show all of the opening bit, just maybe like a little highlight reel of it. Um, before I unleash the real strategy, this this fantastic strategy that makes me very happy. Also, Winifred keeps dodging. That's pretty cool. I don't want to break too much of the uh, Elwyn Tome, though. As good as it is, um, well, I mean, that's the thing. It's it's good. It's, and it's not doing meaningful damage against these Light Mages, so I don't really care to use it against them. They get res uh, from the Light Tome, too, which is, you know, hurts my cause in terms of using a, a Mage against him. But I like that. The uh, the mages are kind of like armor knights in terms of um, res. They have so much HP though. Kind of weird. Not used to light mages having so much bulk. Especially when our units don't have that much, generally speaking. I wonder if we're going to get a solid, like, like a solidly res tanky unit. We have Liang, but he's um, like, I don't really trust him to level up strength. So I decided not to use him. Especially when we have Winifred, who is leveling strength. Um, if we can, if we can end up like with some, um, if we can end up getting some levels with uh, Winifred to get res, that would be really cool. I don't remember what her growth rate is like off the top of my head, but I believe that her res growth is better than her defense growth, despite like the swapped bases or something like that. Uh, let's see here. I think what I'm going to do is basically just stay where I'm at, but swap over to the Wind Tome so that it doesn't hurt me as much to use it. And then we wait one more turn. I might turn off animation since we're going to we're gonna be seeing a lot of Light Mages. Um, and obviously that's not like the... Seeing the same animation like 40 times in a row is the most exciting thing in the world. So it's fine to have them off for a moment. In the meantime, we can just uh, focus on how awesome it is that we got to keep Grant relevant. I wonder if we're going to get a Night Crest sometime soon. Um, we have three quote unquote Night Crest users, depending upon what the promotion item spread is like. That being Virgil, Grant, and Travis, of course. Uh, there we go. Restore. Uh, and we'll just run down this way. Doesn't really make much of a difference. In fact, it might be faster because I can rescue with Faith. Um, and then where's that? Where's that? Um, thingy. There it is. Good use of the pure water. Uh, now in maddening mode you actually get, instead of a pure water, you get um, a ward staff, which is really cool. That's just one benefit to playing on the harder difficulty, I would assume. Uh, let's see, I need to sort of do this, just to make it so that I can heal Mr. Virgil. I just want to get as much healing off as I can. Because I think that Catherine's going to be my first guiding ring user. Because, um, uh, you know, she's already getting up in the levels. And the the quicker she can be become a combat combatant with her decent magic, pretty good speed, I think she'll be pretty good. And now we can see Winifred win. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're going to come this way, but that's okay. Oh, she doesn't double. Oh, well. She'll, she'll get to the point where she doubles, surely. Uh, okay, let's break down that wall. Um, but not with Boone. With him, probably. Nah, nah, it's fine. Um, hmm. I guess it's fine for Faith to do this. And then I, oh, I guess it was not fine for Faith to do that. She wasn't having any of it. Um, but that's okay. We can Iron Bow. And then that guy will off himself on the next turn, assuming that there's no, like, healing that he wants to chase after, which I don't see any. Um, but maybe Virgil could just stand here, menacingly. I think he's going to attack somebody who can't attack him back, though. Guess we'll see how that goes. Very nice. Experience for Winifred. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, but that does put uh, put us in a pretty good spot to do this after we shoot once with Winifred. Oh, she actually just kills. Cool. We take those. 
Um, we might be able to move her back even. One, two, three, four, five, and then attack to like here. So, um, just like that, we will do one of these. Rescue drop strats to keep our units relevant. Uh, there we go. Ooh, more magic, more speed. Wow, she's really good. Uh, we will go for the rescue drop and place right there. One, two, three, four, five, and then attack to here. Perfecto. Take drop, um, and then I'll let them, I'll let this one, I guess I could just let them have the option of attacking Faith instead. I don't really want to though. I'll just leave her here, and then she can have one on the next turn or something. Very nice. Maybe Travis can even get a kill at some point. Guess we'll find out. Would like to see Travis get some nice level ups. Oh, yeah, that's on me. How sad. My strat was foiled by my myself. Hmm. Do you double the sky though? Not quite. Faith will though. And then Travis can get the kill. Or maybe somebody else. Maybe Boone. I, I really do need to focus on Boone some. Much as I like Travis, Boone's going to be like an absolutely relevant unit, no matter what. Just for the purpose of being a lord, and because he's a lance lord, um, my favorite version of the lord class. Uh, yeah, and we should be good, and we can start breaking down the wall with whoever. Um, yeah, that'll be down next turn probably. Maybe I'll trade the javelin over, and we can get that done and move up that way. Uh, Travis will be able to go down this way and grab the chest. Let's see, are you able to do it? Perfect. And then we can just sweep through these guys. Now I'd assume that these guys won't move, but this this mage might, so we need to keep that in mind. Shine Tome is a little bit spooky. Um, actually, Winifred could probably just stand here. She's really good. Oh, these people. It's just like in Gronry. They have completely lost their sense of self. What are the sacred instruments capable of? Huh. Hmm. Devante may have underestimated the strength of this group. For the sake of this world, I must stop them here. Right, I do need to look at the boss. Dale, a member of the Proclaimers, seems to be mischievous. And the Proclaimers, a mysterious cult looking to rebuild the world. Uh, we will find out about them over the course of the next little bit, I would assume. Um, hopefully they're not like... I mean, obviously they're the bad guys, but hopefully they're not like... I don't know, just evil for the sake of being evil. Uh, yeah, there we go. I don't know which of these will move. Um, this guy didn't move, so I'm just going to go off the assumption that he won't again. Maybe it's changed now that I've broken down the wall. Or that I've killed that one mage. Maybe that was the trigger to make him move. Uh, there we go. I guess I'll just move her here and move Parvati a little bit closer. More dark mages. Okay, uh, this is where Ro Roxy would have been good because she would have been able to use the Banshee Tome. But we don't have Roxy right now. We will have her back as soon as we have the deployment for her. Ruin. Okay, that's another thing for Roxy. That is a 50 crit tome. <laughs> that's going to be really good. Uh, she will be very, very good with that. Okay, we will Iron Axe. Now the mages kind of scare me. Um, but we do have a light bow. Okay, I'm good with this. We can just heal her up. Light magic, good. Weapon triangle, good. More speed. She's Winifred good. Um, and it does have one range, so we can just, um, we can sit back and relax. Kick back, relax and max and all cool. Shoot some d-ball outside of the school. Hopefully a couple of guys who are up to no good don't start causing, causing trouble in our neighborhood. I'll get in one little fight and my mom will get scared. She'll send me to uh, live with my auntie and uncle in Bel Air. <laughs> oh boy, it's, you're a real one if you get that. Uh, yeah, looks like we're good actually though. Here come the guys in our neighborhood. <laughs> oh god. Uh, I hope that the light mage doesn't move, but it's fine. We're fine now. Uh, and then Joseph should get the kill. Window or or Boon. We'll, we'll try with Boon. Very nice. Um, yeah, 
I, we're basically done now. We have uh, a mage to tackle the, the fire mage, so should be fine. Uh, I'm going to hope that he doesn't move, because if he does, we die. <laughs> Especially in tandem with this other one. Um, guess we'll find out very quickly whether or not that's the case. Because if he moves while he's like within two turns of our movement range, he would have already started. I, I don't know. That, that, doesn't, that obviously doesn't count as a throne. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, we also have um, Parvati with some thunder magic and whatnot. If we need to, then we can break out some other tomes. This is only defeat boss, so we could theoretically just kill him. You probably get weighed down by yeah two, so you're at eight. You'd get weighed down by two, so you'd be at nine. Uh, so yeah, we're not gonna be able to double exactly with him. Well, I guess what we'll do is we'll try out Winifred. Um, maybe not actually, because that hurts. Okay, good. I actually only wanted one of those to hit, to be honest. Wasting the, uh, longbow would not be my favorite thing in the world. Oh. Oh! <laughs> okay, I guess we just lose Virgil. Uh, that's really deep in the map. Hmm. Do we just leave Virgil dead? I... D it's Virgil, though. Ah, the crit. Dang, that's rough, man. That's rough. I, I have to reset for Virgil, too. I'll be right back. All right, I believe that we're, we're roughly back to where we were. Oh, gosh, poor Virgil last time. Ah, man, do I need to give him his redemption? I... I don't know, man. That's... It's so scary. Oh, wait. Did I put him... Okay, we're good. Ah, oh, man. That's... I don't know. I'm scared. Maybe I can attack with the Forsetti or something. And then, like, rescue him back a little bit. Uh, I'll go for it. It's... Poor Virgil, man. <laughs> he got crit <laughs> right at the end of the map, too. Luckily, with my uh, stride, it didn't take that long to get back. But, boy, it wasn't a good time. Uh, this time I actually ended up doing a little bit worse down here. I almost died to one of the spiders from poison damage again. <laughs> the poison damage really stuck with me, and that spider didn't want to die. I was a little bit hesitant to use the drain rune, or the uh, the bright rune, this time. I wanted to save a use of it, but unfortunately, I think that's just the way to go. But we gotta let Virgil have his vengeance. That was... that was terrifying. Imagine just getting crit out of nowhere. Jeez. Punished. Uh, but it's fine. The light mages... They they can't they can't do this to us every time, right? Surely not. <laughs> They're gonna do it to us every time, aren't they? But this time we'll make sure that he can't be one shot by a crit, because that's the last thing I was expecting. Okay, he can be one shot by a crit, and I'm not gonna let that I'm not gonna try it. I'm just gonna kill this guy. Uh if Winifred misses one of these sixty nines, then I'll just let I'll 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 attempt with Virgil, but yeah, no. No, I'm not gonna let that happen. Um, what will you do? 22. You have a little bit of crit on you, too. Um, but you won't be doing any to me. Um, 22. To your 6 res. So you live once. Um, we'll find out very quickly if you move. And if you do, then that's perfectly okay. Because Joseph is going to be able to annihilate you in that case. Alright, let's see. Does the boss move? He does not, so okay. So we should be able to just win then. Oh, actually, that would have been really bad. Right, fire beats wind. Thunder is what loses to... Let's see. Oh yeah, I think we have the thunder rune in the convoy. Uh, so we could just use Parvati for that. If he had moved, he would have just killed me right there, and that would have been another reset. Uh, let's see. Let's we'll skip the vulnerary for now. There we go. <sighs> and we'll use the bolt rune, and we'll also keep Winifred in range so that she can attack. Okay, she doubles, so we're gonna win this for sure on the next uh, next turn. Maybe I'll give the kill to Parvati instead of Winifred this time. Uh, although the boss experience probably benefits 
Winifred more since she's lower level right now. I might be done for, but I'm prepared to take as many of you with me as I can. Alright, Dale. Oh, a miss. That's kind of bad. I guess we'll find out now if we lose a rune use. See how we do. I'm just going to, like, back off with her just to be on the safe side. Uh, and drop. Now, if he moves now, then we're in a bad, but we should be okay. Uh, we do want that to hit, though. Very much so. Honestly, do you think Virgil could probably get the kill? He won't get crit by this guy, and that's kind of huge, so... I mean... Sure. Winifred can have his... or uh, Winifred can help Virgil, Virgil have his revenge, I guess. You kill me last time with one of your minions, we'll kill you with uh, one of our... One of our, uh, these guys. One of our, I don't know. Perfect, hatchet kills. And if it doesn't, then we have Parvati. There we go. Good job. So there is someone who challenges the Proclaimers. You won't get very far. Well, we're getting pretty far. Uh, very slowly, but we're getting far. Please get speed, Virgil. Please, 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 please get speed. Come on. Dang. Virgil. Ooh, looks like we made it out of there alive. I don't know about that one. We had a lot of mishaps. Who were those people we just fought? Based on their robes, I believe they were the monks who tended the, to the shrine. At least, I think. Their minds were zombified, so it's not like I could ask them. Yeah, true. Though among them were those who clearly wished to do us in. Any doubts I had before now were gone. These events have to be connected. Yeah, they do. And I'd bet that Devante is at the center of this. Or is, the, or is this deeper that we... Or is this deeper that we can even imagine? Oh, maybe it's Than. That seems likely. If this group is after the sacred instruments, then the other countries are potential targets, too. Hmm, I'm sure that my sister can enlighten us to that. I figured as much. That old bell. It's one of the sacred instruments, is it not? Yeah, that's right. This is Celsius' bell. Oh, so now you want to talk? Well, you better believe I have a lot of questions. Ease there, big guy. My sister probably kept this from us for a reason. That's true. I mean, I can't trust anyone. Huh. The Reclaimers have been after this bell for years. Reclaimers? That sounds familiar. Oh, uh, something, they're an ancient group dedicated to saving this world, or so they claim. Saving the world? Why must they involve the innocent then? Why are they warping the minds of people? All I know is that they believe those driven bad, mad by the curse song are necessary sacrifices to cleanse the evil contained within the sacred instruments. Ha. Huh. They believe this evil will be the catalyst for ending our world. See, that's rough, because I don't know about that. Devante is, um, uh, if, if he's part of the pro Proclaimers, he's, um, real evil for no reason if if he's like if he thinks he's fighting for a, a just cause um but it's very it's very possible that they're just like following this weird cult because cults do that to you uh well one thing is certain the sacred instruments do possess some kind of evil magic and the proclaimers have no problem using said magic in fact they're hiding behind a self-righteous viewpoint to harm my no our people yeah that's pretty much what i was getting at uh, it sounds like they won't stop after Amatona and Celeste. How many people are they looking to sacrifice? About 90% of the population, jeez. But it's not like you should care. Uh, the aura flows silver, and thus you are accepted. Oh, uh, your aura flows silver, huh? My aura? That's right, I have the ability to sense an individual's aura, and know whether they would be affected by the cursed song. Ooh, interesting. In fact, with training, most of the proclaimers eventually develop this ability as well. Are the monsters also related to the cursed song, too? Oh, those are just weak-minded humans, and, well, they lost their human form as a result of being exposed to the cursed song for too long. Huh. That is an inter interesting way of doing that with monsters, but then... Oof. Imagine being warped into a giant spider monster thing. Ugh. <laughs> They're just fodder to cleanse the sacred instruments. Then those missing villagers that Sylvan took the blame for. You probably killed them when you rescued me. Such is life. Aw, oh, man. That's rough. Dang. That that throws me back to that one woman in the thing in the the her, her husband was missing. That's that can't be. I'd like to know if there's a cure for to, to those exposed to the song. You will tell me. I don't know. Sorry. Actually, I don't know much more than what I've already told you. Then do you resent the proclaimers? I do. It's a cult that brainwashes its members, like my brother, my actual brother, Devante. Oh man. That's a plot twist. <laughs> That's why I ran away. I want nothing. Oh, wait. That means that Devante is brainwashed. Huh. Okay. That is why I ran away. I want nothing to do with them. 
Hmm, so Devante is your true blood, but you chose to abandon him. Yes, it was a difficult decision, but for the best. In fact, I will help you reclaim Castle Celeste from him. Then I should have no reason to complain. I've heard enough. Everything we've been through together. Who the heck are you, Lael? I'm sorry, Miles. Truly I am, but this is my personal business. Huh. I wonder how they grew close enough to become, like, quote-unquote siblings without any of this coming up. This does not concern you. Lael, how can you say that? We shouldn't stay here for much longer. I know they have... I know that we have learned some difficult news, but we can fix things with action. I tend to be rather cautious before acting, but unfortunately I think we have only a small window here. We have determined our next objective. I will round everyone up and meet you outside. Nerves of steel, that one. I suppose she is a rather infectious leader. Huh. Is everyone ready to head out now? We're ready. The pro proclaimers, this is much bigger than Celeste Amatona. Rise and shine, princess. I'm happy that we are now in agreement. Lael, she must be carrying a heavy burden. I had no idea. It's clear that she has some negative connection to the proclaimers. Perhaps defeating them will give Lael some comfort. Ah, to be honest, I think that's the least of my worries right now. Yeah, I can only hope. I have no idea what that girl is thinking sometimes. We're less than a day's trip from the castle. It should all be over soon. How's Boone doing? He seemed to take... I'm fine. The White Lions are ready to move out. Okay, then let's be off. My brother waits. Commander... Commander, Ariel. Please be alright. <laughs> no. I'm sorry, Boone. It's not okay. That was a fun map, despite the mishap towards the end of that first part. Well, I guess second attempt, but, uh... Yeah, I mean... I think that the map might have been a little bit better if you could just move through that little tile, but it did make me feel pretty, pretty big brain to be able to rescue Grant and do that strat that way. Um... But other than that, there's really no complaints. I guess there's, like, that hallway, which would have been kind of rough, was, you know, there's a break of a wall, which made that not so bad. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's about it. Now, Lael being related to, to Devante, though, that's that's interesting. I don't know if I should use Lael. Um, once again, that ties back into the question of the day. Make sure to leave a comment below. Who do you want to see used in this playthrough? Um, should we use Lael in order to fight Devante and see what happens? Or should we just, like, leave her bench? Like, I kind of want to do, like, I'll... Like I really want to do, to be honest. I don't find her to be an, an impeccable unit right now. Uh, but tell me about like Travis and Grant, and tell me who you want to see used, who you want to see benched. I want to bring back Roxy as soon as I can. It's just a matter of deployment spots. Um, but I guess that's for next time. I guess we'll see that next time how many we have. So till then, I'll see you later.